Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KTALnews.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Labor Day forecast update. Putting together the forecast this morning, keep becoming more and more encouraged that maybe fall is on the way by the time we hit the weekend. So what's going to play out for the next few days here? Warm and humid today as well as tomorrow. We will get some uh, thunderstorms back midweek, but I'm thinking we are going to be drier in most areas here Monday and likely Tuesday, but definitely some rain coming back midweek week and we have another front that's going to come through this weekend it's going to wipe out a lot of the humidity and give us maybe some of the coolest overnight lows we've seen uh, since the spring months as we could very well this weekend have lows in the 50s and low 60s so starting to see some signs here that summer definitely ending for us but today will definitely feel like a summer day we'll be under the clouds so it's kind of a sneaky warm day today but we'll wind up in the upper 80s low 90s and very muggy with the rain that we've had around our heat index will likely wind up just above 100 degrees this afternoon. So there won't be much rain if you have outdoor plans, but the heat will definitely be felt, especially through the afternoon hours today. But if you're out early, you'll enjoy, uh, again, temperatures in the low to mid 70s this morning. Most areas in the low 90s today, I think just depending on how thick the clouds are, we could have a few of us in the 80s. But a pretty warm day, especially with the humidity driving the heat index just above 100 or so this afternoon. And you can see the rain chance is not great through the morning. And we have just that 20% uh, chance of maybe seeing a spotty shower or storm this afternoon. So the weather situation today, we did have this front come through overnight, so we are receiving some drier air behind the front, especially at the upper levels, but down at the surface here, we're still going to see quite a few clouds today. We're just not going to have the same trigger for the rainfall, which is uh, beginning to push further and further west. So today, likely a partly to mostly cloudy day. Can't rule out maybe a late day shower over here in Texas. So if you're down in Toledo Bend, maybe Lake of the Pines, uh, doing some things outdoors, those would be the areas most likely to to see some lightning with a, a few of the storms that they're able to get going today but it's doubtful we'll have much rain around for the next day or two but that will change once we uh, reach the middle of the week we have another front that's going to come in so you can see the rain kind of approaching here late Tuesday and by the time we get to uh, Wednesday we should see a better push of rain here as our next uh, area of low pressure swings through so it looks to be pretty stormy Wednesday and Thursday again low threat of any uh, kind of severe weather here but these should be cooling afternoon showers through the middle of the week and I'll show you the uh, rainfall totals here which are beginning to push out of the region last week or so we've had a good one to three inches of rain outlook for the next seven days really cuts down on those totals so maybe anywhere from a tenth of an inch of rain to about a quarter to maybe a half inch further to the south here so it's not going to be a lot of rain over the next week but definitely enough rain to cool us down middle of the week here and once we hit the weekend we've got another front coming through late Saturday uh, it appears and you can see the overnight lows really begin to drop off as the humidity Humidity exits the region so really starting to see some signs of fall with the cooler nights by late in the weekend and even with the sun out on Sunday highs uh, late in the weekend will be in the mid 80s.